successful cell culture depends heavily on keeping the cells free from microorganism contamination. This can be accomplished with proper knowledge of sterile environments, working slowly and deliberately, and following all of the guidelines for sterile technique. Always wear basic personal protective equipment, or PPE, when working in the laboratory. Talk to the safety team at your institute for your required PPE. Also, remember to review the MSDS information before working with any media or reagents. Wear closed-toe shoes and clothes that cover your legs. Washing your hands before handling cells or performing culture work removes bacteria and microscopic dead skin particles. Dead skin cells can be a potential source of contamination. A 70% ethanol wash kills microorganisms that could contaminate the cultures. Cleanliness is one of the most important parts of sterile technique. Always clean the hood before and after use. Spray alcohol should not be used in any area where a flame is being used due to the fire hazard. The outside of containers carry dust and contaminants. Remember to clean each item placed in the hood with ethanol. You may choose to spray the item before placing it in the hood or immediately after as demonstrated. As you clean the item and place into the cell culture hood, put it in the correct position. Enter the hood with your hands in a forward motion. Try not to sweep across the front and disrupt the airflow. Proper setup of the cell culture hood includes not overcrowding the work surface. Not only does this increase the risk of contamination through accidental touching, but it also interrupts the airflow through the chamber, which will not maintain the sterile field. For this same reason, it is important to keep the front sash in the lower position when working. The basic idea is to keep your media and reagents sterile by only touching them with sterile objects. Using sterile media, reagents and supplies is a big step in keeping your cultures free from contamination. Notice how the cell culture hood is set up to make the following actions easier. The pipette aid is on the right side so you can easily control the pipetting in your right hand. Reagents are in the center back so you can easily open the bottles and pipette from them. It is very important to have the setup in this manner so you're not crossing your hands or supplies over top of sterile items. We'll now demonstrate the basic technique of handling a pipette and a bottle of medium while aseptically supplementing DMEM with Glutamax. When opening the pipette package, be sure the pipette does not touch anything non-sterile. Grasp the pipette high on the neck. Insert the pipette into the pipette aid. Turn the desired measurement marks toward you and then discard the wrapper. Discard any pipette you accidentally contaminate. Only open your media, reagents, and supplies in the cell culture hood. Opening these items outside the sterile field will result in contamination. When holding the cap, it is important not to touch the inside edge or you could contaminate it. Replace the cap as soon as possible. If you must set the cap down in order to free your hand, set it down with the interior surface facing down. When pipetting, try not to touch the pipette to anything non-sterile, particularly the outside of containers, or contamination could result. Each pipette should be used one time and discarded, or washed if using glass pipettes. Reusing pipettes by dipping directly into another media bottle or by leaving it standing in a media bottle increases your chances of spreading contamination. Gently mix the contents after supplementation. Labeling the bottle after supplementation is good laboratory practice. Sometimes you'll need to transfer large volumes of liquid from one container to another. The best way to transfer is always to use a sterile pipette, but with practice, it is possible to aseptically pour instead. You should pour quickly and deliberately, using the front corner of the bottle to channel the liquid and improve the speed and accuracy of your pour. Any spills should be wiped with ethanol immediately. When passaging cells or changing their medium, the basics of aseptic technique are the same. Only open the containers in the sterile field. Do not cross your arms or other items over an open flask. Don't rush, but work at a good pace and with deliberate motions. Do not reuse pipettes, and do not use items that were inadvertently contaminated. When finished, make sure everything is closed tightly before removing from the cell culture hood. Anything opened outside the sterile field will now be non-sterile and should not be used for cell culture work. Wipe down the work surface with ethanol again and straighten up the hood before you leave.